it'll be a feeling that'll hit me out of nowhere. What's up guys, it's the girl Sammy back with another video. Today guys, I'm back with yet again, I'm not back with another reaction. I don't know why I started off like that. But that's besides the point. You know, we back with a video. This video is a story time. I'm not going to cap, I've told this story before. But back when I told the story, it was too much of all over the placeness, you know. So this time, this story is gonna hit. I'm about to tell y'all the story of getting fired from my first. You know, if you work, you know how it is. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't gonna waste no time when we get into the story. But, you know, this is like a low key, this is like a month thing because we finna be eating <sighs> Domino's because I'm hungry. I got some. <clears throat> you want got some pizza, you know? So, yeah, we finna get into it. But before we do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. Also, let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the comments down below. And you know, what I'm saying, grind 2023. So, yeah, just that. And let's get into it. Now, now, guys, this is my sauce, my go to sauce when I eat pizza. Let me see if y'all can. Yeah, it's focusing. Garlic is my go to. I don't care garlic sauce, so definitely my go to. Ranch, it'd be cool. It'd be cool, so we, we, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be cool for us. Um, mm, let me just show y'all pizza. Bacon and peppers, yes. I wanted to show y'all my chicken, but it doesn't look appetizing at all, so I'm not even gonna set myself up like that for nobody to be freaking roasting me, so I, I ain't even gonna show y'all that. Nobody finna be roasting me or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's just get into it. So, basically, I used to work at this place called, um, oh, y'all, I should've started to take my first peek. Hold on. I needed that. My first ever job, y'all, I had worked at, my first ever job, my, the, the job I'm talking about I worked at was Clippy Cream. Now, y'all probably thinking I'm talking about the store. Wrong. Wrong. Stop assuming. I'm not talking about no freaking store, bro. I, I couldn't work in the store. Me personally, I'm working with other humans and having to take orders and stuff. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I'm just not doing that. I think my patience is low. I'm feeling like a total barnacle head. So I know myself. I end up snapping on somebody. You know what I'm saying? Or just getting aggravated and wanna leave. So no. So yeah. I didn't work in a store. I worked in a factory. Yes. Yeah. A factory. So. Mm. This is so good, bro. So anyways, um, yeah, I worked in a factory and basically, part of working in a factory, we have to do stuff like put the donuts in a box, like how you see at Walmart, or, like, just say you're just trying to get a Krispy Kreme donut, but you don't want to go to Krispy Kreme. You know what I'm saying? They have them in boxes and stuff. I don't know if you know that, but they have them in boxes at Walmart, I believe, and Publix. And say you just wanted a singular donut, 
and you ain't want to wait no line you want to go in while you getting gas they have them in gas stations on trays and stuff so we did different stuff like that put them in boxes put them on trays and the job overall y'all it was just really a lesson place to work like no <laughs> no when you work and you work with people who ulterior motive is to do other things besides the work it's really frustrating and if you're grown you know what i'm talking about if you're grown you know what i mean by they have ulterior mo ulterior motives to do other things besides be great and really that just gets annoying like anybody in general you come to where i come clock in Work a little bit and go home. I don't come for no drama. I don't come to hear no tea. I don't care about nobody life outside of work. And I'm probably wondering why I'm telling y'all all this or what does this have to do with me getting fired? Strictly, it's because if I don't like an environment that I'm working in, nine times out of ten, I'll try to refrain from going. Now, mind you, back then too, I was young. So the slight inconvenience will cause me to be like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all boys tomorrow. I'm out of here. If I'm on the schedule and the inconvenience came or something came up, me, back then, you know, I'm young. Mind you, I'm not fighting away. I'm just telling y'all I'm gonna come in tomorrow. Just see me tomorrow, you feel me? I'm a good worker. And y'all gonna see me tomorrow though. So, yeah. You know, it was just a nice, good day. I just felt the energy, felt good. I felt a liberated. Mind you, this day, everybody just wanted to go out. And I was a chauffeur. So, it wasn't like it was something big of an inconvenience. It was just something for me in my small, younger days where it's like, <laughs> work or work, we're going to the working way. So I would go to that, you know? So it was just one day, I forgot what we did. I know we went to the mall. Ladies, you know what this means. And I think it was for somebody's birthday. I believe it was for somebody's birthday. Um, we were shopping for them and looking at different clothes. Mind you, I'm eating, having me a good old time. Let me tell y'all how, how, how weird and unprofessional this job is. Only reason I say that is because of how they fired me. Dude, if you gonna fire somebody, wait till they come in. I'm, I be watching shows and I'm a little old fashioned, you know, wait till they come in. Allow them, you know, tell them, like, look, you're not cutting it. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're just not cutting it. We need you now. You can't come now. we going to have to find somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take that. Actually, don't even let me come in. Now that I'm thinking about it, what are you talking about? Don't let me come in. Tell me before I come in. Because if I come in just to go home, that's annoying. And I really feel like a lot of bosses... This is this is for you young people too that's watching this and y'all never had a job a day in y'all life. A lot of people that are bosses, they let that boss title go to their freaking head, bro, on me. And they, they realize that you're human, but they don't care enough. They don't care. They'll, they'll let you come in next days, knowing they're going to fire you. Make you work full day to fire you at the end, or they let you come in, see you, fire you, send you home. Rather than telling you so you don't have to travel that whole way just to leave. They don't care. They don't care. Why? I don't know, but it's okay though, because it's them too. You feel me? Monkey. It's them, straight like that. So, but yeah, anyway, so back to what I was saying, you know, I was having me a good old day, good old time at the mall, chilling, vibing, when all of a sudden I get a call. Now, mind y'all, 
I kind of had it in my time, my brain that day when I didn't go. I was like, something's telling me this is not going to be good for me, you know? And a lot of the times when I have an intuition about something or like an inkling about it, nine times out of ten, something's going to happen. I'm, 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 I'm never wrong like that. A lot of people, they be too much into their intuition and be off. I'm a lot of the times right. And the only reason I be right is because it'll be a feeling that'll hit me out of nowhere. Or it'll be a feeling I wake up with right when I wake up early in the day. Not just me thinking of it and then it happened. No, I be feeling it. So when I felt it, it was either two things when I had that feeling was like, you know, it takes my boss be more convenient and, you know, explain more in the depth of what the situation was to try to keep this job that I got or, you know, you feel me? Risk it all. You know what I'm saying? All or nothing, you feel me? Either they gonna call me or they not, I'm gonna stay there the next day. That was really how it was planned out, and I decided to go with that option because, like I said, if I'm in a job where I feel like it's messy, too much drama going on, the boss be having too much of a big head, I feel like y'all need me more than I need y'all. And fun fact, the same job I'm talking about is the same job that called me back to hire me back. So, you feel me? Yeah, I need you. I need you. At the end of the day, so yeah, so I was, I'm having the time of my life. Let me tell y'all, I work the morning shift, 6 a.m. to 1:30. No, 6 a.m. to 2:30 p.m. I was enjoying my day. This before we went to the mall. We was heading to the mall. I believe it was about two o'clock. The ending of my shift, I think. I get a call, like I said. Looking at the number. I'm like, okay, this number doesn't look familiar. One bowl. This is my boss. You know, sorry. Um, I forgot what he said. He was like, sorry. You know how jobs be. We need somebody more reliable. Da 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 da. I was like, oh. Okay, you know, nice pleasure working with you, wasn't, wasn't. Oh God, please, no, no, no. But you know, pleasure working with you, hung up. Y'all that whole entire day after that, I was like, what am I gonna do? But me, I'm very quick on my feet too. I be, I be quick on my feet, so. I automatically was like, you know, we just gonna we just gonna apply once I get back home. And that's what I did do. But you think I still enjoy my day at the mall? <laughs> it did. Like stop playing with me. I still enjoy my day. I had a good day. Y'all thought y'all was gonna ruin my day. Y'all thought y'all was gonna ruin my day. I already seen it coming. Y'all wasn't gonna ruin nothing. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I had a good day. Mind you, me. The, the job that I worked at, it was a lot of other people that worked there too. Like my family members and stuff, they all had worked there too. So people at the job was making up different rumors about why I had left. And I'm just like, really, I didn't even leave. They called me and told me I can't come back. So I just didn't. Like, it's that simple. People be wanting you to fight with jobs too. And it's not, be, it don't be giving that a lot of the time. A lot of other jobs pay me better than what you're going to pay me. So why do I want to stay with you? I think not. Like, straight like that. I I think not. You know what I'm saying? Not doing it. But now it's like, I'm, I'm more adult now. So I feel like, even when you don't want to, sometimes you just got to fight. You just got to fight. Even when you don't freaking want to, bro. Like, you be like, man, bro. I don't even want, like, you know what I'm saying? But you just got to because you need money or you need to do what you got to do to pay what you got to pay because that's how we is in the world nowadays. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't do what I do. If you legit, you know, I'm not telling you not to do it because, you feel me, you got to live your life, but just be smarter with it. Don't be, don't be, you know, just lallygagging, just not showing up and then you get fired and you know stuff because you know not everybody be hiring to quit you know what i'm saying i was lucky enough to get something right after that because of 
the month I believe I had got fired, it was so big on hiring people. So I believe that's why I had like a fighting chance. But had it not been for that, I probably wouldn't have. So I don't suggest to do it unless you know like I have a backup. You know what I'm saying? Unless you got a backup. But man, that day, my stomach and everything. Y'all gotta, ooh, I just, I just, if you experience it, you know what I'm talking about. That feeling when you just like, and see, you don't know what you're going to do, what's going to happen next. Who? A lot Cares. of people. Oh, oh. You know, even if you're thinking and you feel like you, you got a track, you don't know if that track's really going to work until, you know what I'm saying, you go through it and you go through the motion. You don't know what's going to happen for real. So, I, I felt a lot that day, man. And nobody, and nobody even knew that day either. Everybody I was at the mall with and everything, they didn't even know. Like, I'm... Quit to act like I'm happy. They ain't know nothing was going on for real. And I commend myself for that because I don't like people being in my business either like that. So I'd rather just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I go to work. I go back Sunday, you know? Whole time. Got a new job Sunday. But I go back Sunday. <coughs> I go back Sunday, you feel me? But yeah, bro. Well, after my little story time, you know what I'm saying? Am I making the cut or whatever? Shout out to you if you're watching this video. The one that you know you let me go, whatever. Cool, cool beans, flourishing, bigger and better. You feel me? I don't even worry about y'all no more like that. Like, shit like that. Down below, remember them cold night. I was sleeping on the floor. But um, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on this videos in the comments down below. I'ma finish eating the rest of this. you know much you know that or whatever and then um i might i want to try to do a q and a y'all let me know in the comments down below is should i do a q and a right now or should i wait because i'm really contemplating right now if i should wait and do it or if i should do it now and the reason i say wait is because i want to wait so more people are into my channel before i do a q and a because once i do one i don't want to freaking redo one you know what i'm saying i just want that to be that or if I do do another one, it'll be with completely different questions, not none of the ones I already answered. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think I should do about that one. And um, I'm catching you guys for the next one. Bye.